Today I'm going to talk about subject and verb agreement to make your sentence correct. Okay, but before we jump on that subject verb agreement, we should have to know what is the singular and plural. When we say singular, singular refers to Okay, so singular refers to only one, only one subject or only one person, animal, thing, place, idea, or event. But plural refers to many, more than one, more than one persons, animals, things, places, events, and others. That means many, okay? That means many. Now, before we proceed, the subject verb agreement, we will start from pronouns because pronouns have singular and plural forms, all right? So now, here are the singular and the plural forms of our pronouns. When we say singular pronouns, he, she, it are singular pronouns. They, we, you, and I refers to plural. Okay, here's the thing. I know you a little bit confused about you and I. You refer to one or two people or more and I is only one, right? But in English grammar, you and I requires a plural form of a verb. I will give you examples on that later. So now we will have an example first on your singular form. Okay, we have examples here. He drinks juice. The subject here is he, which is singular. All right. So your verb is drink. So if you can say drink, but we have to add s. We have to add s. Drink drinks because the, the verb must agree to your singular subject. Now, so have singular subject, you have singular form of your verb. So you have to add S there. So he drinks juice. If it is plural, for example, we, for example, we drink milk. So now here, your drink is in plural form. That means without S. So we have we. We is your subject, which is plural. So your verb doesn't end with S. So you have to see, he drinks. We drink without, without S, okay? Now here, she is your subject and that is a singular pronoun. So you must have to add S or ES. But here you can see touch. Now you have ES. Why? Because you have CH. I will give you more rules on this S and ES, okay? That will be later. Now, she touches the paint. So now, touch becomes touches because your subject is singular. Now here, they, they is plural. They chop the tree. So you can see here, chop without S 
or without es. Okay? I. I make plants. Your subject here is I, which is the plural form of pronouns. It is the first person. I is the first person. First person. That is why it is considered as plural. Okay. Plural, so you don't need to add S. No S in your verb. Okay. As you can see, no S. So, take a look. You can see here, we drink milk. He drinks juice. So you can see drink here and drinks here on your second sentence. Why? Because here you have this singular subject he and here it is plural subject we or plural pronoun we. So that has no s, no added s. Okay, so here she touches the paint so here we have es because the verb ends with ch if your verb ends with ch if your subject is singular you have to add es es so they chop without s that's without s because they is plural okay i is also plural in form so we don't have s here i make plans 